Here in the boreal forest, we're now uh, standing in an area that uh, has usually is described as a bog. Uh, bog means that the uh, several characteristics. One of the characteristics is, is that uh, the most of the nutrients and so forth coming into this fairly acidic conditions that occur here actually come with the rainfall. But maybe more typical for here is the kind of vegetation we have. The trees you see, the rather scraggly looking trees, they're black spruce, which are, are a very characteristic tree and, and very slow growing. Some of these trees could well be e over 100 years old, perhaps even 200. They grow so very slowly. The understory, the main understory, is a plant called Labrador tea, uh, which is, in, at least in, in the western part of the boreal forest, a very typical species for the uh, for areas that we, we uh, that are called bogs with with, peat, with, uh, with organic soils. This particular moss we have now is a is basically moss that comes into the into the genus Sphagnum. There's several different species which uh, I'm not able to identify, but certainly this is Sphagnum moss. Sphagnum is an interesting plant in that it once it takes over a site or starts mm -hmm. to grow on a site. It's sometimes people re refer to it as an ecosystem engineer in that it continually makes that particular site better for it to grow and less suitable for the other competing plants that might like to grow there. And one of the reasons sphagnum does that is because it has this loose uh, fibrous uh, sort of structure, absorbs a lot of water, can makes do with a very, very few nutrients and so mm. forth. So it's, it's a plant that competes very well in this environment. And usually in these kind of, uh, of situations, uh, the, the soil that's very typical is uh, a, a very weakly decomp decomposed peat. This is the kind of peat that we have no trouble at all uh, describing as fibric. And so the, this particular soil, and I know that the depth here is not, not a great depth, and it has actually a, a fibric material like this near the surface, and it grades to force peat with depth. And so because it is once again uh, mainly a force peat with, with the fibric material on top, we're going to be calling it teric mesosol, so the soil classification doesn't separate it from the other soil, but certainly it's a different kind of ecosystem, a bog ecosystem.